My name is Nancy Couch. I'm 52 years old. The date is April the 30th, 2011. I'm in Whitesburg, Kentucky, and my relationship to Keith is I'm his friend. My name is Keith Everso, age 17. The date is April 30th, 2011. Location, Whitesburg, Kentucky. Relationship with Nancy is friend. Okay, Keith, I'd kind of like to get started. Um, who would you say was the most important person in your life? My mom. And can you tell me about her? She's caring and nice, and if I need something, she helps me with it. And does your mom know that you're gay? Yes. How did you tell her you were gay? I told her when I was 10 on a piece of paper. You wrote her a note? Yeah. And how did she, how did she respond? At first, she didn't think I was telling the truth, but after a while, she got used to me, so now we're... So she's very right. accepting now. Mm -hmm. Is she protective of you? A lot. How so? If I almost get in trouble, she helps me out of it, and if I need a problem, she'll talk to me. Does she put a lot of um, restrictions on what you can and can't do? Yes. And why do you think she does that? So I don't get in trouble or get sent off or... Do you think it might be because she's afraid people will pick on you? Yeah. Um, have you had any problems at school where you're gay? Yeah, I get bullied a lot at school. How did you deal with that? Well, I told the principal, and the first time I told him, he didn't do really nothing. He talked to the boys, but they kept picking on me. And then I called some friends, and they helped me out. How did they help you out? They called the principal and told him if they don't do if he don't do nothing that he's that they're gonna get a lawsuit for the school. And who were these friends? You, Nancy, and your son Jordan. From Kentucky Equality Federation. Yeah, Jordan's done a lot of good work. What what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in life? Just to ignore people that pick on me and just go with life. Is that hard to do? Sometimes it is. Does it ever affect how you feel about yourself or how you perceive other people or how you behave when you're in school? Not really. I just live life like it is one day at a time. I think once you told me that that your mom told you when you were at school to not walk gay, not talk gay, and how did you deal with that? Well, I tried it for a week, and I just couldn't do it, so I'm just going to be myself. Well, I hope you know that yourself is perfect just the way you are. And what about your dad? Does he know that you're gay? No, I don't really talk to him that much. But your mom is in a relationship. How does your mom's boyfriend think about you being gay? I guess he's, he thinks it's okay. I don't really talk to him about it that much. You have siblings, though, right? Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters? Yeah. How, do they know you're gay? Yeah. And how do they feel about it? My brother already knew, but my sister didn't like it at first, but now she's used to it. That's kind of strange that your sister wouldn't be accepting because one of her best friends in high school was gay. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe it's a little different when it's a, a brother. Yeah. You think? And, and where did you grow up? Hazard, Kentucky. And, uh... What was your childhood like? Just like everybody else's normal growing up, having fun, playing with friends, going to school. Were you ever picked on when you were younger? Bullied? A lot, every day. Do you remember one specific instant where that happened? In my front yard, sometimes I'd bring friends up and they'd pick on me and stuff, but they say they just play around, but I don't really know. What do you mean you don't really know? I don't know if they was playing or not. Was it painful and hurtful to you? At first, yeah. But then, now I'm used to getting picked on and stuff. But that's not something anyone should ever get used to. Do you ever foresee that getting better? Not really. So what are your plans for the future? Going to go to college and be a teacher. Are you going to stay in Hazard, Kentucky? I might move out for a few years and probably come back. And if you've been picked on so much in, in rural eastern Kentucky, why would you choose to come back? So I can see my family and friends. 
And do you have one special friend who's always been accepting of you that's there for you? Not really. I got all kinds of friends. They're there when I need them. Do they defend you at school when you're bullied? A lot. Every time I get picked on, they protect me and stuff. And who would you say has been the kindest person to you in your life? Probably my mom. Anyone else that's been kind that, that stands out in your mind? Nancy and Jordan. Thank you. And we're always here for you, and you know that. Do you have any words of wisdom that you'd like to pass on to other kids that's gone through the same thing that you've gone through? Just be yourself. Don't let other people bring you down. Do you have any gay friends that's that's still not come out yet? No, not really. They're all out. And has all of the families been acceptant? Some of them. And how has your life been different than what you'd imagined it would be? I don't really know. I don't think about it. Why don't you think about it? Because if I think about it, I'll probably get scared of what would really happen. And would you please explain to me what you mean by that? Well, if I wouldn't gay, my life would probably be better. People wouldn't pick on me and stuff. So you think your life would be better if they didn't pick on you? Yeah. So do you actually think that you could change your life? And not, not really. be gay? No, I was born this way and I'm yes, going to die this way. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's the other people who has the problems. And I hope you know that. I do. Do you have any regrets from... Anything that's happened? Mm hmm And what do you think your future holds for you? I don't really know. I just live one day at a time. Do you have goals for the future? Yeah. What are some of those goals? Finishing high school and going to go to college and be a teacher and live a happy life. Is there anything that you've never told me that you'd like to tell me now? No. When you say no, do you mean that there's things you'd like to say to me that you haven't, or that you've just told me everything? I told you everything. Well, I hope you know you can always tell me anything. Is there anything about me that you've always wanted to know but never asked me? No. When in your life have you felt most alone? Uh, never, I guess, because I'm always around people and friends. But you can be around a ton of people and still feel alone. I don't really feel alone all the time. But do you sometimes? Yeah. And how do you deal with that? I just watch TV or listen to music or... Talk to my mom about it. You can always call a friend, too. You know our numbers. Is there, um... Now, what is your first memory of me? I'm really curious about that one. When you was in the car and my mom was talking to you, and I walked up there and I saw you and I said hi. And we just kind of took off from there and started talking. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how would you describe me? A nice, kind person that likes to help people. Thank you. Where do you think you'll be in 20 years or even 10 years from now? Probably still living with my mom. But you have goals and ambitions to go to college. Mm-hmm. So are you protective of your mom? Do yeah. you say that? Why do, you, why do you think you'll still be living with her at that time? Because she might need my help around the house or something. Uh, do you have a boyfriend now? I do. It's a long relationship. But we talk and text on the phone and stuff. When you meet like long distance, is there not anyone close by that that you're interested in? Well, there's this one boy. He wants to talk to me and probably go out with me. But when I talk to him, I get nervous, so I just don't talk to him. Why do you get nervous? Because I black out and forget what to say. So are you saying he makes you nervous? Yeah. 
Just be yourself, you know, just be yourself. Uh, do you have friends at school that, that you hang out with that are accepting of who you are and when you get bullied, they, they there to protect you? Yeah, and when they're not around, I tell them and then they go to the person and they confront them about them. And are these really close friends? Are these people that you've been friends with for a long time? I've grew up with them, went to school my whole life. You've talked a lot about um, being getting picked on in school and having friends um, protect you. What what type of things do other kids say to you or do that your friends have to defend you? They call me names or they try to push me down or trip me or threaten to whoop me and stuff. So I just tell my friends and they take care of it because I don't like to fight because I don't like to get in trouble. Does that make you fearful, fearful of going to school? Yeah. You should never have to live in fear. And, you know, I, I realize that you told the principal once before and he didn't do anything, but now that he has, do you feel more comfortable going to him with these problems? Sometimes. It's just according to what the problem is. Is there anything that I can do to help? Right now, there's no bullying at school right now. But if I do need help, I'll call you. I would hope you would. And I would definitely be there. Do you get into any trouble? Not really. When I see trouble, I just walk away from it. And what would you say the worst thing you've ever done is? Doing drugs when I was younger. How how much younger? How old were you? I was about 10 to 12. And what? do you mind if I ask what kind of drugs? I used to smoke weed and snort pills and get drunk every Saturday because I thought drugs would help my problems, but they didn't. When you say problems, what kind of problems? About school and how people pick on me and stuff. Quentin, I mean, I hope you sincerely know that that is ignorance on their part. When did you first ever fall in love? When I was about 16. And was that your first serious relationship? Yeah. What lessons did you learn from that relationship? Just to love somebody the way they are. Anything else? No. Is there any other words of wisdom that you would like to share with anyone in, in your situation? What would you say to someone who has not come out to their parents and is still still hiding the fact that they're gay? Well, if they're hiding it, they need to tell at least somebody, a close friend or a close parent or just somebody because it builds up in yourself and it hurts if you don't tell nobody. You have a lot more problems if you don't tell somebody. Do you mind if I ask what your earliest childhood memory is? I the don't very really earliest. Have you don't have any early childhood memories? Mm -mm. Do you know why? Because I guess my whole life I've been picked on and none of them's been happy. Do you have any times in your life when you were really happy? Not really. Even when you were younger? Mm -mm. So you grew up in the house with your mom and siblings? Mm-hmm. And you don't have any good memories with mom or your brothers and sisters? Spending time with them, that's about it. Do you think that you and I will ever lose touch? No. Why not? Because I got your number and I know where you live. <laughs> so if I need help, I'll come find you. And you know that I would always be there, that if you needed me. Um, uh, do you have a relationship with your grandparents at all? No, they all died. So all your grandparents have passed away? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you remember any memories with them before they passed away? Yeah. Were they good memories? Yeah. Would you like to tell us about those memories? I would go to their house and I would play with them and they'd give me candy and money and stuff like that. 
So you do have some good childhood memories. And in the future, years down the road, how would you like to be remembered? As a good person that likes to help people like you. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Tell me about that. I'm proud about myself because I know who I really am, and I know who likes me or who don't like me. And you're you're all you're okay with being gay and who you are. Yeah. And you have self confidence about that. Yeah. And you're not gonna let anyone bring you down because you do realize you were born this way. You don't have anything else you'd like to share with me. No. Do you have any nicknames at all? Mm mm. Just the the bad names that the bullying the people that bullies you cause you. Yeah. How would you describe a perfect day in your life now? Not being picked on. Is that does that I mean you say that's not happening now, but has it happened more than I know? Yeah. And why haven't you shared that with someone? I don't really know. I just, I'm trying to fix it myself. But you may not be able to do that. And has this bullying happened since Kentucky Equality intervened and called the the principal of the school and had our attorney contact him? A little, but it's not as bad as it was. Will you explain to me what's going on? You say a little. Please explain what you mean by that. They still call me names and stuff, but they don't threaten to whoop me no more. Do you mind telling me what kind of names they call you? Uh, they call me like gay or queer or fag. That's so derogatory. And I honestly think, I'd like for you to promise me now that, that you're going to contact the principal and if he doesn't do something... Contact Jordan at Kentucky Equality Federation or contact me and we will come over there. I will. You're a human being and you do not deserve to be treated that way. Promise me that you will do that. I promise. But it's not as bad as it was? Mm-mm. What are your dreams for yourself? Just to live a happy life and ignore all the negative. If you could do everything again and do it differently, what would you have done differently? Nothing. So you're even though you're bullied and being picked on, you're proud of who you are and you're okay? Yeah. I have to say I worry about you. I really do. And I hope that, that you call me. You know that I will always be there. I'll come to your house if I need to. So your your mom is, is more acceptant because there was a period of time when she said, don't walk gay, don't act gay. But does she do that now? No. Why not? Because I think she's more receptive. I think she's getting there, don't you? Yeah. I think she's getting there. You talked a lot about your mom. What is your mom's name? Polly Lewis. Can you describe her a little bit, like what she looks like and her personality? Tell us about her. She's about 5'8", with blonde hair. She's really nice and kind and tries to help people out if she can. She's very proud of you. She's my age, so she's 52, 53. Anything else about your mom? No. What qualities does your mom have that, that you want to make sure you possess? The nice and kind and likes try at least tries to help people if she can. But you do the same. You have those qualities. Is there anything else? No. Uh, what about your classmates? How would you say that your kids the kids from grade school remember you now? They remember me as being random. I say stuff random to make them laugh and stuff. And when they're sad, I help them and stuff. Are you still friends with any of those people? Yeah. And what would you say in, in grade school, because you're just completing high school now, was your fondest memories? 
having fun and making the teacher's life and my friend's life. Is there any particular incident that stands out for you? Not really. Uh, who was the teacher or teachers that had the strongest influence on you? Probably Miss Young, because she really helped me out when I needed something. Tell me about Miss Young. Well, if I needed a problem, I wouldn't go to the principal. I would tell her because I felt more comfortable talking to her instead of the principal. And then she would take it to the principal, and they'd sit down and talk to me about it, and we'd fix the problem then and there. And Miss Young is a teacher you had in, in high school or grade school? Grade school. Grade school. Do you still see her? No. Not really. I want to switch gears a little bit and... Uh, do you believe in love at first sight? Not really. It's about what's on the inside. You got to get to know the person first before you get to fall in love with them. The outside appearance is only a shell. And, uh, do you, uh, do you have any, any lessons from past people that you've been with that you want to share with us? Mm-mm. Is there anything else at all you would like to share with us about you or your life? If you're still in school and you have any problems, contact your friend or family or principal or teacher. You should always feel safe at school. Yes. School is for educa education, not to go and be scared. Now, I don't want you to ever feel scared again, ever, at school. Isn't, isn't it difficult to get up of the morning and go to school knowing that the possibility of that happening could, could happen again that day? Yeah, sometimes I try to tell my mom, but she says, it's okay, just tell the teacher or the principal. Is there any times that you've just not gone to school and said you were sick because you couldn't deal with it? I do that a lot. You still do that a lot? Yeah, I did that one day last week. What happened last week? Last week, I had an odd feeling that something bad was going to happen at school. So I'd go halfway to the bus stop and stop and call my mom and say my belly was hurting. And she said, well, come home, and I'll take you to the doctor. So there wasn't anything in particular that happened at school? It's just you had a bad feeling? Yeah. And how long has it been since, I know you when you were bullied before, it was a football player that was threatening to to fight you and beat you up. Um, how How is that situation now? It's good. I don't. I try to stay away from the people that don't like me at school, so it's so, okay now. When you say you stay away from them, do you? When you see them, do you just like go down the other way and avoid them? Yeah. And do you feel like that you're being bullied solely because you're gay? Yeah. So it's it's intolerance and unacceptance. Mm-hmm. So have you openly had a boyfriend at school before? No. Why not? Because I, I think if I do have a boyfriend at school, they'd pick on me more. There'll be more people picking on me. So I just going to wait till I get out of high school to have an openly relationship. So I know when we went to some events, we brought you a pride shirt. Have you worn that shirt to school? Yeah, all my friends like it. They want it. Because it's got the rainbow colors, do they realize that the rainbow symbolizes being gay? Yeah. And they were all okay with that. Yeah. Did you get bullied over the shirt at all? No. So if there was anything at all you could change about your life today, what would it be? Really nothing. No. So I like living the way I am. Not the bullying or... No. When I get bullied, I just think about it. And if I, if I while I'm getting bullied, I think about others getting bullied. So I can tell them my story so, they, so I can help them out. So anything you'd like to say to anyone that could ever hear this tape that's being bullied, any, any words of wisdom, anything that you could possibly tell them that you think would help? Just if you need help, tell somebody because it, builds up in your body and you might but, explode or kill yourself or something and 
It won't be pretty. Have you ever thought of suicide? No. Never? Never. I know once before you tried telling someone of authority, even the principal, but it didn't help at all. Mm -mm. So what would you advise the person doing if they go to the principal and they don't get help? Call somebody that will help, that will do something at the moment. Well, I would like to tell you that uh, Jordan and I are always here for you, as is anyone else with Kentucky Equality Federation. Day or night, any time, we'll be there for you if you need anything. But please don't go through the bullying anymore, even if it's small bullying. Even if it seems like nothing serious, you got it. You got to tell somebody. And, you know, if we can't resolve it, our attorney will. Because you deserve to be loved. You deserve the same treatment that everyone else deserves. And I don't like the thoughts of you going to school and being bullied. That that really, I didn't know that, and that really concerns me and scares me for you. Anything else you'd like to add? Mm-mm. Thank, thank you, Keith, for interviewing with me today. I found out a lot of things, and I hope we can continue this conversation later and make things better for you.